Uh, hey guys, sorry the lighting's a bit off, I look a bit like, uh, you know, Two-Face over here. But, um, anyway, I was, uh, filming my Q&A that goes up on Saturday, so watch that, hope you enjoy it. And, I literally finished my Q&A, sat down at my computer to start editing it, and I saw an extra question saying, um, I have a crush on someone, should I ask them out or should I just forget about it? Now, as it's coming up to Valentine's Day, and I'll be spending my Valentine's Day like this... I to make a new start, perhaps. <laughs> he got her a new diary! <laughs> I thought I would be the perfect person to give advice on it. Now, I've seen many people have crushes on people, and I've seen them wait ages and ages and ages for them to kind of be like, I'm waiting for them to notice me, to ask me out. It's not gonna happen. I don't mean that as in the way they don't like you, I just mean there's no point waiting because if they do like you, they're going to be in the exact same boat as you. They are a human, they're going to, you know, be scared to ask you out. It's the fear of rejection, everyone has it. If you don't, well done, you've got a very high, you've got a lot of confidence, let's go with that. So, what you need to do is, just just to be fair, check how much of an effect it's going to make on your life if you if you do ask them out. But you have two options really when it comes to it. Either ask them out, and if that works that's great. Or don't ask them out and leave your relationship where it is and try to get rid of the feelings. Which is hard, I know, I've actually had to do it myself. But in, in some circumstances it can be for the better. But if you do ask them out, you've got to realise that you could end up with a very awkward situation where your friend may not like you. But it's better than sitting there without the feelings if that makes sense. If you do end up in a relationship, as it is Valentine's Day, I'm also going to go through some relationship things. If you are in a relationship with someone, make sure it's a relationship you're happy and comfortable with. If you ever feel uncomfortable in a relationship, please do tell your partner, as it's a very serious, you know, thing. <laughs> good, good advice from Cameron here. Also, don't be afraid to tell them your problems, because if you have a problem, you can solve it. The phrase, I'm going to change, it's a bit of a touchy subject of a phrase because I always say people can't change in a day. People, I don't think people can change even in a month. I think it takes more than a few months to change. But if they say they're going to change and you think they can, I mean, in my personal preference, if someone did something to me where I would want them to change, I mean, I don't, you should never make someone change if that makes sense. If you're not happy with the relationship, I'm just, I'm going to put that out there. Don't be afraid to dump someone. I mean, I've, there was a relationship I was in and I just de generally felt like it was just a one-sided relationship and I, I broke up with the person. I mean, I'll admit that I did that. I mean, I just didn't feel happy in a relationship and that's what I did. And if you want to do that, don't be afraid. I know a very serious thing that can happen with people is the first relationship where if they, if they, if this is their first ever proper relationship, they're too scared to end it because they don't feel like they could be with someone else's it's the first if that makes sense it's so anyone's first they kind of have an emotional connection to because it's the very first thing they've had like your first if you have a first meal at somewhere you go oh i remember my first meal at this place i, I mean this is gonna sound really dumb but i remember my first meal at tgi fridays i had a burger and a milkshake the cookies and we were at Jay and it was in TGI Fridays in Liverpool 1 and it was great and I loved it and if, it, if you ever want to give me um, a free TGI Fridays, TGI Fridays that would be great, I would happily appreciate that. But besides the topic, back to relationships. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I was going to say about it but just make sure that if you are in a relationship it's not one-sided and that you're, you're both putting in the equal thing, you should always want to make each other happier. So hope you have a great Valentine's Day, and if, if you're not with someone at the moment, you could be my Valentine's. I, I'll either be watching Bridget Jones' diary. I to make a new start, perhaps. <laughs> he got her a new diary! <laughs> or playing League of Legends. So uh, hopefully you have a good Valentine's Day, doing whatever you're doing. And um, if you're going to ask up your crush, uh, do so, and I hope it goes well. I have seen it go well before. But just do take in the implications and make sure your relationship is always happy. And if you're ever sad, uh, tell your partner if they 
don't if they're not gonna you know do the same for you if they're not gonna try and make you happy then I hope that you can somehow find a way to fix it but if you do have to break up do not be scared as it will be for the better hopefully uh, but anyway uh, Q&A comes out on Saturday and it should be a bit more light-hearted than this and I will see you then goodbye It just got lighter. That accent was normal. I'm from Les Miserables.